Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. I had to think about it. Sometimes it's hard to. Thursday is the thing, the, the day you have to think about it. Yeah. Oh, oh Kramer's oh, got the couch. There's a dog here today. This is Kramer. Kramer. Yeah. That's good. Dog can take the couch spots more than I think he 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 likes the couch. Yeah. 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 I'm um, good. How was the last 24 hours for you? Uh, I got a lot done. Yeah? What did you, what'd you get done? Uh, just finished sorting things out at my new place. I mm -hmm. organized my binder. Oh yeah, it's important. You're moving? Yeah. Did you move? Did you just move? Yep. I moved to some place I won't disclose on this show. Smart, very smart. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's okay. How, how's that? Did you, did you have to meet new people? When you moved? Yep, every day. But like the people you're you at your new home. <laughs> uh, well, I knew my roommate. They're from older. Last year. Okay. Yeah, she's not too much older. Well, that's how good. Do you know? How, how do I know? How do I know about meeting people or, your, or new people? Well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Huh? I, don't know, I was asking you a question. I don't know. When I knew. Hello and goodbye, program. Oh, uh, Freddie's leaving. Hi, Freddie. Bye, see Freddie. You guys uh, on the tape. Production in, Hi, great, going real good. Yeah, thanks, Freddie. <laughs> Freddie's the said We had uh, some problems today, but we got them all fixed. How are you doing, Carl? Um, okay. You guys How are you doing? I guess it up here. Carl and Desmond are wearing yellow shirts. Same yellow. Look. Uh, okay. Next to Kramer are on the thing. On the thing. Do you see anything on the streets, Desmond, when you're just on the streets? Um, Desmond doesn't have a mic. Is there another? Oh, yeah. I was. Is this on? Hello? Yeah. Why are you trying to tap it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, it's me. up to you. Can you hear me if I um, look like this? What did you see on the streets, Desmond? Something? Today, I was on the streets and I was walking. There's two guys in music. Did, uh, yeah. did you see did you see something? <laughs> yeah, I saw I was walking across the bridge going downtown. Uh-huh. And while I was on my way downtown, I saw a uh, person driving in a Corvette going towards the west side. Yeah. And then when I was heading back towards the west side, I saw that same person in that same Corvette going towards downtown. So they 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 went up and they did the business and they turned around at like the same speed as you were doing it. Yeah, did, I wonder if anybody heard the beginning of that story before you turned the mic up. Um, you want to start it over? No. Oh, okay. Uh, it's because we were walking so fast. Oh, <laughs> uh, you you were at the same speed walking as a car did driving? No. I guess yeah, I'm, I'm apparently. Uh, no, but the car opposite ways. They must have gone a longer trip than us, mm -hmm. and then came back because when we were going back our destin towards where our from our destination towards our initial leaving point, they were heading back towards their initial leaving point from their destination at the same time, but in a much faster vehicle. So they must have gone much farther, is what. Or maybe they were waiting longer. Maybe they did a, an activity. Both are possible. Sure. Maybe maybe walking is as fast as driving a car, and no one ever noticed. I think she got her hair did. Are you are you sure it was the same car? Like, definitely same person driving it as well. It was a fancy muscle car. It was a Corvette. Uh huh. And then you noticed who was driving? Yep. I also noticed it was the same person driving it. I was on the bridge, so it was apparent. I could see them. I was like right there. I was like, you know. Well, I was gonna get the. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I just noticed her hair. Do you, do you know this person? They had, no. they had recognizable hair? Yes. yes. Blonde what? with bangs. Where's that one? Um, Perfect blowout. This mic, too. Here. Did you saw it? Here. They did, here. didn't they? Uh, here, here you go. 
<laughs> Here's this, there, there's, we have four mics. There we go. Is this? Now everybody's got a mic. <laughs> what? We lay what? across the back of the what? couch here. What was her hair like? It was a ponytail, I think. So it wasn't no. like, no? Uh oh. She did a blowout. Yeah. What's a blowout? It's um, when you get your hair blow dried professionally, or you could do it yourself if you're really good. And then it makes it poofy? That's what well, it sounds yeah, like. A That's little, but it's like straight, but with body. Straight with body. Okay, so Hannah, you tell me if you picked up on any of this. When we were at the bike shop, the first person you were dealing with was not very amicable. They didn't really want to help you with your with what you were trying to figure out. But then the second yes, person you talked to was like super helpful. Yeah, he was more helpful. Okay. I thought they you, all yeah. want to help. That's why the first there. person didn't seem like they wanted to help. What were they doing there then? I don't know. This is an awkward position. <sighs> We got a ton of messages today. Mr. Ginsu? Yeah. Actually, Mr. Ginsu left a lot of them. We got one from Elias, though. Here, let's play this one first. I think my I microphone's too nice. loud. Yes. Here it goes. Uh, this is Elias' message. Oh, it's long. Oh, hi. Um, yeah. Who's Elias? I had my phone on the charger because I was playing a game. Played it till it died. Then I waited and waited until my phone charged a little bit flat until tomorrow so I can play more games. Huh. Okay. Um, oh, you want to know something horrible that happened this week? Yes. Someone stole a whole load of clothes from um. the washing machine, which um. holds almost like, well, now it holds because I went through everything. It held about half of our clothes. Oh my god. Oh, so I could do two loads and have all our clothes clean. Rude. Yeah. Huge load. Just jacked from the laundry room. What are they going to do with clothes? And Is it on Evergreen campus? Won't do nothing. Mm, apartment complex. Yeah. I mean, from your own. Nobody can do anything about it. Talk about pooping where you eat. I'm like, who the freak would steal clothes from the laundry room? Yeah, rude. I mean, I didn't leave them in there that long either. I only left them in overnight. Like, what the well, fuck? Yeah, that weird. could have been like the landlord. I'm still on that one. It's on my kick. I, I offered a reward. So, maybe Wait, I wonder what, if there's money brands rather or something. than freaking clothes. I hope. Freaking tired. Hook up. I think my microphone is too loud. Oh, I had to get up and, uh,. Turn off the rice that burnt it really Fine. bad. A little away from your face a little bit. Like, I was like, okay. smelling something. I was like, what the fuck is burning? Just uh, well, I just switching the between rice. saying freak and actually my cursing. Kids passed out before dinner was ready. So I was like, oops. I might as well cook this rice anyways and have it for tomorrow. And then I realized when I smelled it, I was like, oh, <laughs> the rice is going to be easy to come out of the pan. <laughs> Because it's a non-stick pan. Non-stick pans are nice like that. Did you burn? Now, if it was a regular something? pan, then I'd be like, oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Bad stuff, you have to have the scrubby pads, and I'll never buy those scrubby pads because I don't bake anything. So nothing gets stuck. Real stuck, you know? I mean, I bake some stuff, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a big camera. I think it's so. Bacon is like not necessary. I can baking for two on top of the stove, which I would really want to know how to cook or all that stuff. But dealing with a chicken is scary uh, <laughs> and a roast because one time I bought I a roast and I had a big old vein. Ew. I think because I didn't cut it up. Uh, Oh, she got cut off. Um, timed out. That was pretty funny because she got cut off when she was saying cut off. Did you hear that? Okay. She said that the chicken... More slack. But did you hear that? She was saying that the I chicken... I I did. The chicken that. she was eating had a big vein in it because she didn't cut it off. And right as she said that, Here. she got cut off. Synchronicity. Are you having more... Uh, I don't know if that's more slack or it's less slack. It's just about the same. Oh, uh, well. Let's call the lies back anyway. I'll tell her how to cook a chicken. A roasted chicken. You know how you roast a chicken? You put it, put it in the oven. Put it in the oven for a while. Yeah. 
Yep. It's good that way too. I don't know why. If, I think I've actually told Elias about this in the past yeah, yeah. too. But it's not even like you just put you maybe you can put some butter in there on the chicken, but you just put it in the oven for like some butter. An hour. It's fat. Butter. Fix it. Uh, you reached me. Oh, Elias didn't answer. Just leave a oh. message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Just put Thank butter on it and then put it in the oven day. for a while. Is yeah, I do it? it faster at a higher temperature. Hi, Elias. It's the program. Uh, I'll tell you how to cook a roast. You get a chicken and you put it in the oven. It's almost 9-11. But you know, it's good if you put some potatoes under it. Oh, yeah, you're you right. You slice your potatoes down there. That's I tomorrow. Know. Did you guys celebrate, or whatever you do for s tragedies, 9-11? Uh, last week uh, for the viewers. Last week for the viewers? No. Uh, yeah, I think you're supposed to... Did you say it? It's uh, it's Patriot Day. That's what the new, I think they call it now, these oh days. It's 9-11 Day. Uh, but they call it Patriot Day officially, like on the calendars well, and stuff. Um, Crap. Why would you name it a date and then change its name to something else? Um, you named it the easiest thing you could name it. The day it happens. They didn't call it like Twin Tower Day. They didn't call um, it. It's not on the thing, but yeah, 9 11, so. Boeing 747 Day. Just uh, never forget, I guess. That's what we're, we're remembering. They didn't call it Tower 7 Day, huh? Look it up. Yeah. Uh, oh, Three yeah. Three different towers, two different planes. Hmm. What? Oh, the, uh, the, 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 the fact that well, conspiracies towers can fall down from two different planes. You know, you, are you in the 9 11 conspiracies, Carl? Are you? I'm not, no. No? I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat. Me and Carl hat. know about the same thing, though. No. I can't even, Dan. <laughs> we both know. Uh, I got my we iPod working. Oh, you did? <laughs> I got my iPod working on yeah. my stereo. Dan got his iPod working. It, it's really nice. Good. Ooh, good job, Dan. It, yep. It's really nice. It, I, I, I got the Beatles and the Stones and, and, and the Reef of Dead and, wow. and Hot Tuna and... Good taste. And, and uh, I, I even got Kendrick Lamar and the Fish. Oh, I don't know who that yeah, is. Coming back, the last one. Kendrick Lamar and the Fish? Something in the Fish. <laughs> I don't think it was Kendrick Lamar. It's probably some kind of 70s thing. Oh, yeah. I was thinking maybe Kendrick Lamar and Fish did, like, collab. Hello? Hey, Dan. It's the program on TV. How you doing today? Fine. You got your iPod working, huh? Yeah. What's What's the fish? What's the fish band you're you're listening to? Uh, what? Well, something in the fish, like Kendrick Lamar and the Fish, something like that. Kendrick Kendrick and the Fish. Who? I've never heard of that one. Who is that? Uh, Kennedy Drew on the Fish was a group that, a, a, a hippie group from, from the San, San Francisco that, that uh, was real popular, they, they, they were real popular with, 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 uh, with, with people, uh, with pe uh, they, they were really good. Good, did you ever see them? No, but Joe did, my friend Joe did. Oh yeah, Dan saw the Beatles. Yeah. You yeah, saw yeah, the yeah. Beatles, Dan? Yeah, I, I saw the Beatles. Whoa. Yeah, you know, I, I saw the Beatles. What I think you? you're the only person I know that's seen the Beatles. What are you, what are you doing right now, Dan? I've never met anyone that's seen the Beatles. Uh, I, 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 I miss, I miss something that I'm reading, reading. What are you reading? Uh, um... Pet cemeteries. Pet cemeteries. Stephen Moore, Stephen King. That's oh. a good one. Oh, that that field out there. It's scary. It's a scary one. He, he that guy played uh, in the Munsters, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, he was, was the monster. He was not scary in the Munsters. Now it's a joke. It should be scary, but it wasn't. Yeah, scary. Yeah, but then he's kind of well. He's not really supposed to be scary in the movie either. He's a nice guy in that movie. Well, but in the movie, it's like he's not supposed to be scary, but he is scary, right? Mm, he's he's, he's kind of scary. scary, but he's he's supposed to be nice. Well, I, I, I'm gonna let you go, Kitty. All uh, right, thanks, Dan. Thanks for talking to us. Bye. And hey, let's play the first dice game. I got Woo! a pen out here. I'm gonna write a number down in my hand between one and six. We're gonna try to visualize the future. We're gonna be rolling six dice. So we're gonna try to like think of six dice, you know, in your mind, and then you think of which number 
on the top has the thing, and it's more than guess. It's more than a guess. It's we're trying to. So if you don't visualize. say it, you can visualize it better. Is that what you were saying last time? No, I'm. I'm just saying. Like last time, I think when when I was talking about. Oh, <coughs> here you go. Uh, visualizing versus just guessing, because I I asked uh, Hannah to to pick the number, and then she picked it really fast. Oh, you got it. <laughs> and I was like, maybe you could. Con Maybe consider taking time and try to think about it and consider. I think that consistency, if you pick it every time, that helps with visualization, right? If you pick the same number every time? No, I I, I think that's the di that's different. Like, if you're if you're picking the same number every time, you're not, like, trying to visualize the future. You're just trying yeah. to just, it's, I don't know what, I don't okay, know what I would call that. I'm going to look for a certain, okay, there's f five letters in that, I'm in YDHWM, so I'm going to visualize, gonna go I've already visualized five in the amount of numbers in the title. Yeah. Pick five. All right. You got a you got a number call. Yeah. You run the the dice tape yeah. already. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We're we're gonna roll the dice now. Have you ever thought of finding a way to make a theme for all the things you do in the oh. show based around the do 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 do? No, so that sounds like too much. We got the bowling. We got the bowling sound. That's pretty good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. Whoa. And have you ever used a fire extinguisher before? No. No? No. That's safe. That's probably better than... Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to use a fire extinguisher but you didn't have one to use? Uh, in my dream once. Oh, uh, yeah? You had a fire Six. burning dream? Yeah. <laughs> Six is the number. Oh, yeah. What number... Maybe we can give uh, uh, Kramer a six. Whoa! Five. Wait, we all pick five. I have a, I have a two. Oh, it's okay. Kramer's got a six. Oh, Kramer Carl's got five hundred. Kramer, you got five hundred points. We're giving you a, we're giving, wow. we're giving Kramer a, a, a freebie. How about that? Carlito's gone. I think because because oh. the Carlito. Oh, 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 Carlito. Is he? Carlito is gone. Oh, goodbye, Carlito. Carlito was uh, a dead bug. That was hanging from the ceiling for like a month. But no, no, that's just a, that's a. It's got um no, that's like that a dot. That's just like a dot. His cousin. I don't know what that is. That, that's like is that a, is that another is that another bug? That's another bug. Yeah, maybe it's Carlito's brother or something. Um, but it's a completely different species. Carly two. What is that? That's a weird one. That's actually kind of a freaky thing. Is that a? Is that it's a just a dot? Is that a bug or is that just like a speck? You can see it better on there. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Is that a bug or is that a speck? What? Or what's <laughs> I mean? What's a speck anyway? But like, is that a bug or like a tack or something? You're kind of close. Can you can you actually look at it with your eyes, Carl? Can you get up in there and take a look at that thing right there? Here you go. Turn around. What is that thing? Yeah. Um. A person on There's the Subaru uh, outside. Correspondent on the street has no idea what that is. You, you want to touch it? No. Can you, want, you want to touch it, Desmond? No. What is it? Is it a bug? Maybe we should squish it. I'll touch it with oh. something that isn't my finger. Did it I move? think it moved, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm having a hard time telling the but Carlito's gone. That's kind of tragic. He was. I was. We were. I was uh, saying like, how long can Carlito exist? And you know, he was already dead when we met him. So, so he predicted his non-existence. Yeah, it was more. It was more because he was already dead. Like when the first time that we named him and everything, and then we were just kind of waiting for him to disintegrate. And I knew that it would happen one day. And it was really slow. Like he was getting smaller and smaller every day. And what I think, a crazy I think Carlito. I think Carlito is gone now. So goodbye, Carlito. You win the new you and death. And uh, oh, I think it did move. Ooh, what is that thing? Maybe we should kill it. I think the no, it's it's just a spot. I don't know what it is. It's not a, it's not like a tick or something. It looks like a tick. Uh, here, here, get, get. Uh, it, it's Kenny, it's not a tick. Is no, we're, we're we're we don't need to be paranoid. Well, here, try to squish it. With oh the, God! You're not gonna touch it with your knife. We got it really close. What is uh, it? Here we go. Carl's gonna Carl's getting it with the um. Oh, now you squish it. Squish it first. Carl, can you tell us about your bracelets? Mm, no, tell us about this bug first. So, is it a bug? What is it? Uh, it looks like dust. It's just dust. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just dust. The great dust uh, uh, deb right, here debacle. Here it is, mystery. Dustgate. Here it is. 
We're looking at it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. It's on the napkin. Focus. Mm. Yeah, I think it's dust. Or like no, it kind of got like it's got legs or something. Just move, move the camera even closer. It's hard to tell, Carl. What? Uh, Close, closer, Carl. It looks pretty buggy to me. It's dust. I'm looking with my eyes. Well, <laughs> it's totally dust. It's just got a lot of like hairs. Like it's got like a lot of little things. So well, that's that's. I'm glad it was well, dust. Well, now that we solved that, maybe we should put, try to put the back on the wall so we can name the dust ball and try to wait for it to do go away by itself. <laughs> I kind of feel like we oh should. Wait, do you think Carlito's like on the floor right there? No, Carlito was so oh, small. He wouldn't. There's no way to find Carlito oh, yeah. if it was. Uh, oh, I was thinking like a crane fly or something. Well, it was a crane fly, but you know, like if you lose a, a crane fly, fall on the ceiling, probably just, it's gone. Like it's on the floor. But I don't think there's fell. any. I don't think there's gonna be any finding car later on. I'm, I'm gonna let him let him go anyway. Come so on. anyway, what I have on my uh, wrist are like different variations of Buddhist, Buddhist, I guess. Buddhist, Buddhist bracelets. Yeah. Here's uh, here's Mr. Gibson's first message. He left a lot on today. What? Buddhist bracelet no. sounds like Bruce Springsteen. Fuck over. Hey, Cornhole, how did you call me in between the time that I called you and now? It happened. <laughs> the fuck? That's fucked up. Um, I don't know what the fuck Danny called me, but fucking, that's fucked up. Dude, I've been sitting here week. So I'm not sure if I gotta turn the volume up on my phone, oh. or maybe I had my <laughs> headphones on. Or, I don't know, you just snuck one in there. Maybe you I just snuck one in there, Kenny. I don't fucking know. I didn't sneak my phone into the shitter because I don't want to drop it down in the shitter. I did that once. I went to open the toilet seat. Bent over to open the toilet seat. And my phone came out of my pocket right oh, yeah. down in the fucking shitter. Right oh, he dropped it, yeah. I didn't even see it no more. I was like, you gotta be fucking shit. Oh, is that a pen? Uh, and I ain't never seen it again. So you flushed your toilet down the You flushed your phone down the toilet? So that's probably bad for plumbing. You never saw it again. This is a small phone. We should ask people outside what they're doing. Because, like I say, I've been sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting all fucking day long and no phone call from Kenny or Carl. Oh, he's what? Waiting for him. No. Show. Hey, I'm pretty sad about it. Where's he live? Checked on the show. Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. And fucking what the fuck? I'm like, she's a YouTube get watcher. My fucking yeah, ass. pretty much. I can't believe you motherfucking. Believe keep it. Keep running there. That's he watches episodes at the uh, library sometimes. He's got the internet at home now. Hey, he admitted that, ever. but crazy, yeah, maybe man. he's got the internet at home. He does. That was the most freaking Probably. interesting phone call I've ever okay. had for you. What? I can't believe it. The most interesting phone call ever. I was like... Oh, because we left a message, a long the, message. But Carl got an opinion and he's setting me freaking have his opinion today, huh? He's setting, he's setting you up! Opinion today, huh? What did you say to him, Carl? Well, I don't even know. we'll fucking see about that next time, because I also got an opinion sometimes. And I just smoked a bowl, so I fucking got lots of opinions right about now. <laughs> and, Mr. Gintz is uh, going against his doctor's orders. So it all depends on... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If I was smoking pot, I got opinions. Now, if I ain't been smoking pot, well, well maybe Jack's he knows pretty better. dope boy. Are you gonna get in trouble? Uh, yeah. But my doctor mm -hmm. threatening to fucking kick me out of the pain program yeah. if I fucking get caught smoking you know, weed. You know how his back's all messed up? Oh, they oh, gave him painkillers and well, he, he was, smokes weed? He was on the pain program, but to be on the pain program, he, 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 yeah, and he's getting tested, and he refrained, actually, at least that's what he said, for uh, a long time. You told him he wouldn't get tested? No, I didn't. I thought, I mean, I, he wasn't smoking weed. He wasn't for a while, yeah. like for months, and that's, he, that's all what he's all about. Yeah. And um, he, he went back to it recently. So we're going to kind of find out if his doctor is going to find out, too. I have this interesting piece of information that uh, someone that I know that works at a local head shop told me after seeing a couple episodes of the program and listening to Mr. Ginsu 
do his thing, his thing sue. He uh, he was pretty sure, like ninety nine percent sure, based on the specific like. Oh yeah, Mr. Gensu is not a real person. No, no. He's only a f he's like a phone robot. Person. Well, but like, <laughs> but I'm saying that like he he thinks that he's seen him. No, nobody's seen him. He's not real. Uh, this but just in, Mr. Gensu is not real. He's a phone guy. It's just Kenny. He exists on the in, he exists in the in the, in the wires. What is this? Mr. Gensu left a silent message. Probably the program. Oh yeah, we should call this band actually too. This band um uh wants to come on the program. Some touring band. They emailed emailed them me here. Can I put a song that I made after this? You want to play a song for us? Sure. Do you have a way to plug it in? Yeah. Is it just vocal? No. So you need instruments? No. It's on my phone. Oh. We're going to see if this band's going to answer. They're an Oakland band. We should hey, leave them a message. Back. I'm not available right now. Just leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. At the tone, please record your message. message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey. Hey, Zach. <laughs> it's the program. Uh, we're calling you. You can call us back. You have the number. It's this number. It's 360-836-4384. You band wants to come on the show. Uh, when you're coming through town, you can call us back and we can schedule you for it. If you're satisfied with the message, press 1. To listen to your message, press 2. To erase yes. message review. Hey! Hey, Zach. <laughs> it's the program. Uh, we're calling so you. Call us back. You have the number. It's this number. It's 360 Your band wants to come on the show. Uh, when you're coming to town, you can call us back and we can schedule you for it. If you're satisfied with the message, press 1. To listen to your I'm message, satisfied. press 2. To er Thank you. Your message has been sent. Thank you. Here we go. Let's play. We're gonna play Desmond's song, I guess. Where, where is it? Oh, oh, we called got something to say first. It looks like. Now it's info time. You're watching your daily art with me. It's our long Pepper Life Call and Television talk show that's recorded every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 days in leap years. Water HWM began on September 19, 2010. Tapes a week in advance, so if you're watching this on PCTV, Channel 22, 1130 p.m., this episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode of the program uh, to call you back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Call her. Mm. There we go. What is this? Ew, is that on the... Something sticky on the cord. I don't know what that is. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this?
It was when my roommate made the music and he asked me to make lyrics. Yeah. What are you saying? I'm sorry. That's stuff. I made it up. What's the thing? What's the thing? Uh, things and, and their degrees. Like, like time is moving faster and faster. Uh-huh. Like, things are moving over and over. Like degrees, like how everything is divided and you can continue to divide things and the details right. can grow. Yeah, and that's exactly what it's about. And you can divide things so many times and it's like when do you look at the whole and when do you continue to look at the details? And if you can't you continue to look at details. And you pick a level of detail to focus on. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. There's, so, there's so many levels that you could look at. And uh, you know you gotta look at a whole. It's like when you choose, like is, 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 uh, is it a group. And even then, you even there's so many things that like degree, like how is it degrees of what? You know, how how is it degrees of what? Yeah. How do you choose what to separate and like where where to make the separations and why are there why is it ten? Like you can always be looking closer or, or farther at, at things. You're gonna be grouping things differently. Yeah. Don't think that things are the way they are because they have to be that way. Yeah, it's like look look at the bigger or smaller picture before before. And after. And during. During uh, all the time. All the time. That's what this is. Sweet. Alright. Are we gonna do anything else or it doesn't like it? It just, it's, it keeps going. It keeps going? Thanks. I'm like, we're on pop water. I mean, this is like... So it's like an everlasting gobstopper? That's what you're supposed, you supposed to do. Everlasting gobstopper. Here, yeah, let's play the next dice game. Sure. Here we go. Here's this next again to message. Roll two dice. Sounds like they're okay. like just like holding the phone up to the radio message. <laughs> it is. Any fives? I thought your song was good. <laughs> Number uh where is it? One, two, six. I have a two! Ah uh, Yeah, I got five hundred points. Me and uh Kramer are in the lead. Kramer didn't have a two. Kramer has a six though. Oh yeah. But we Kramer is just there was a there was a six in there. There's yeah, so, so Kramer has five hundred points. No, Kramer has a thousand points. He got points last time too. Was it the same? What what did we roll this we'll, time? Uh no, we we rolled a one and two in the six. Yeah, so Kramer has five hundred points. Oh. I thought he got points last week. <laughs> no, we, we, we rolled the white dice later on in the park. With his girlfriend. It could have been hockey, I guess. But, anyway, Jerry's his girlfriend. She's fat, oh. Aww, I can what? tell because I'm looking at her ass right now. She's a big fat ass. It's crass. Anyway, it's she got double zero on the back of her shirt. Yeah, that means something. And that, for this one, that means something. <laughs> phone call. It's, it's the band. It's the Hello? Hello? Right. Hello? Hey, my arm does this thing where it hey. to Hello, band? Hey. Can you hear me? Band. Um, I think we gotta call them. Sometimes when we get incoming calls, it doesn't work for some reason. Oh, no. Yeah. What to do? What to do? Well, we're going to call them back, and then they should be able to hear. That's what we're going to do. But how do we solve that long term? Oh, we don't. We just deal. We just call them back. Hey, this is Zach. I'm not available okay. right now. Uh, we're going to play some phone tag here. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, let's try it again, I guess. Thanks. Has Hot Rush ever performed on your show? No. He's trying to, he's trying to call us. But we're trying to call him, so like, and when he's on the phone, it goes straight to voicemail. So it's like we gotta like get this break where one of us like is not calling the other one. Hello, Hello Zach. Hey, this is Zach. Hey, hey. Zach. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. It's, it's Zach. It's the program. We're on TV. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. 
you're you're in a band, right? Yeah. The band that you want to come on the show. I'm sorry, what was that? You're in a band, right? Oakland band. Yes. Yes. How how did you find the show? Um, there's another Oakland band that was on your show a while back called Fish Breath, and we have some mutual friends and connections. And I saw what they're doing; it looked pretty cool. So yeah, I, I thought you know we might breath? be a good fit for the show as well. No, you just uh, fish band. Oh uh, yeah, so much fish. So you guys want to come play on the show? Yeah, absolutely. On what day? Um, we were hoping to do the. 29th of this month, which is a Tuesday. Tuesday the 29th? Birthday! Oh yeah, Devin, you want to come <laughs> see... This Tuesday? You wanna come no, see this Tuesday band? the 29th. Uh, you want to come see this band on your birthday? Uh, yeah, I'll come see this band on my birthday. It's the it's the, the 10th. Tomorrow's 9-11. It's going to be Desmond's birthday. Yes. I think we can probably make that happen. Have you seen the show before? Just that performance from the said band. Oh but, yeah, um, you should watch no, some I'm, episodes. I, I, yeah, I will definitely. Now I'm gonna check it out. Have you ever been on TV? Um, just for like, yeah, stuff like this, but nothing much other than that. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? Yeah, what do you What do you mean stuff like this though? Like uh, other public access things when I was younger. Yeah, what did you, what like what are the talk shows or? Um, uh, just like performance things, like you know. Public access, public events. Nothing. I don't. I don't yeah. know though. Like your band was on there. No, no, much younger, like when I was in like elementary school and stuff like that. We did, we did like uh, school performances and stuff like that. It's just been a long time, I guess. Did you <laughs> sing like, well, yeah, like, like Street Boys choir, with like, your friends? Choir and play play? or like a play or what? What, what kind of performance were you doing? Yeah, like, like plays. Like, a, like acting? Yeah. Because it... Do you guys do Lewis and Clark? Up here we did Lewis and Clark the play. No, but we that, did Pilgrim plays. That right? might be so a, we did the Crucible. Because they're from um, Massachusetts. Yeah, we did the Crucible. What kind of play do they do? Do they do any kind of historical play down there? Well, that was in sports theater, I think, is when we did all the Lewis and Clark stuff. Sports theater? In fourth grade. Oh, uh-huh. fourth grade. Yeah, I thought something, you said something about sports, too. <laughs> what's, your, what's your band called? Um, Little Dowager. Dollager? Yeah. What's a dollager? It's a widow. Oh. Like an old term for a widow. So like a baby widow? Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Lil? Li, li, like like Lil? Like, like someone little. was like li, married. Like Lil Kim or Lil Wayne or is it Lil? Yeah. Little? Yep, there's, there's spelling L-I-L. Lil, Lil. Oh. Lil it's Dollager. It's a very name. Little and Widow is Are better. you guys a rock band? Um, yeah, like Noise Rock. Noise Rock, yeah, all right. Yeah, I bet I bet we can probably get a Tuesday, because there's usually not too many people there on a Tuesday, and we can probably make that happen for Wait, you. I don't mean to be rude, but, like, Little Widow <laughs> rolls off the tongue much more smoothly than Little Downinger. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, it, it's actually kind of a long story how we got the name. You got um, the source. Yeah, we have time. We looked up Widow. <laughs> Okay, so, well, well, so originally it was just Dowager because we thought that name wasn't taken. And then there was a, like a crust punk band called Dowager. As always. And they, 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 they threatened to sue us with their lawyers, their uh-huh, team of really? lawyers, which what? we're fairly certain did, we're fairly certain did not exist. Crest, and, uh, they had fake lawyers? So we, so, they had crust lawyers. So we tried to, we, we kind of got, <laughs> yeah, the crust punk lawyers, and then we, uh, we we thought uh, we would kind of take the dinosaur junior approach and add like a, a suffix or something to the name. And Is that what happened to dinosaur? Were they, were they just called dinosaur? Yeah, there was a ba- dinosaur junior. I guess before that they were just called dinosaur, but they got had a similar situation. Oh yeah, well, had a junior. dinosaur junior is such a better name. But yeah, they were called Dallinger. Hey, you should just go by Little Widow. We're getting a call on the other line, but we'll talk to you later. Okay. Think about changing it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello? Oh, it's doing the thing again where we, we can't receive phone calls if you want to make them. Hello? Dan? Uh, okay, no, we're going to call Dan back again. We're going to play some more phone tag because this thing doesn't do that. But I mean, if, if, if it worked, if everything worked, what would we do on the show? That's what I always kind of think. Like, yeah, like, like if Lil Dallinger was a good band name. Well, if we were able, it's, it's fine. Band names and titles and stuff, it's hard to do that. I'm be a hater. Um, Lil Widow. 
You come up with a better band name than Lil Gon 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 Lil Widow. Okay. Hello? Hey, Dan. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's I something to look at. I listened to the iPod now. You listening to it? Yeah. What is it? Megadeth. Megadeth? Megadeth. Megadeth. Yeah, that's a good one. I like Megadeth. Uh, I'm in Megadeth. How's the secretary? Uh, I, 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 I haven't seen her. Oh no, she, she went, she's missing again because she came back, right? And then she's gone again? Who's secretary? Uh, my my uh, doctor, the secretary uh, of my doctor uh, uh, practice. Uh, uh, remember, I, I told you to keep the door and, and she, she told me that you fired her. Yeah. Fired I fired her. She was missing. She was missing and she had to be fired. She told me she told me she told me she was at dance, but she was just gone. Well, what well, would you do? It's, it's not real. You gotta send me a new one. Yeah, yeah, I gotta find a new one. I mean the old one was so good then. How will we replace her? I mean I trust I trusted the old one and now it's hard for me to trust after uh, that last experience. Uh, I know uh, the and find one that looks like, find one that looks like Marilyn Monroe. Why, Dan? What are you going to do with the secretary? Well, that's not nefarious. No, no, but so this is the thing, though, cause, because it's not nefarious and this shouldn't matter, but I know a secretary Does that look like looks Marilyn? like Marilyn Monroe, but, uh, but, but it's not nefarious. Maybe, it sounds like Desmond has a connection. Maybe we can make this happen, but Dan. They're not, they're, oh, never mind. This is about to go somewhere that I don't like. Uh, call me tomorrow, okay? Okay, thanks, Dan. My roommate's looking for an office job. Oh yeah, well, we have a we have a job, but we're not gonna pay her. Is that no. <laughs> that's not really a job? <laughs> no, she wants a money job, right? Yes. You know, people want a job. You want a job? I'll give you a job, but I won't pay you. I did that job once. Yeah. I didn't well, do it well. Yeah, you didn't do a good job, but we didn't pay you, so I mean, yeah, so it was fine. <laughs> it was gonna be a different. So I, I guess we credit. We don't do a background check then either. Yeah, we should have done a background check on you. I did like a 65% good job. You did fine. Yeah. I would say you did. I got a C. Well, who sets the standards? If you think you didn't do a good no, job I'm and you did it, my own standards then you did I got a C. So, yeah, okay. You told you told me the whole process. You're going to grade yourself at the end of this. Yeah, I think and that's... I got a C. Why, you, why you did you give yourself a C? You could have given yourself an A. Plus. Yeah, well, plus. but that would be immoral. All right. Did you have a resume? List references? No. Uh, social security number? Um, I do have address, one. email, address, uh, yeah. skills, extra yeah. skills, yeah. Uh, community service. I know a person, and their social security number is so simple, it's incredible. The last four digits of their social security number is like, you, you could guess it first try. Um, they, they get frauded a lot? Uh, they don't actually get frauded very frequently. But Maybe because zero, 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 zero. I mean, it's the <laughs> next one. Let's one, uh, one, one, one. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's check out the commercial from last year. Yeah. This is what happened last year. Let's see what happened last year. If my stepdad is watching, I'm sorry I just gave out your social security number on television. Well, why? It was fine until you said who it was. How about 0070? Are you telling me? No, not mine, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Charlie's birthday. Oh, Charlie's Happy birthday. birthday, Charlie. Hey, There's Charlie. A this one. There's a train. There's a train bringing There's some dog food to you in Seattle. We're over here on From TV. From the dog food factory. You can call the number and get on TV. It's tables day. We're talking about tables. Yeah. 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 Wow. So Where am I? Meat patties. Where are you, Carl? Check Where it out. I was not there. Hmm. Miss the day. Missy. Rosh Hashanah. Happy birthday. Oh, that means uh, today is the Rosh Hashanah special. Wait, I just noticed something that's kind of interesting. Um, that I'm gonna, s I'll, it's kind of wild, but, uh, the phone number for the show, 836-4384, my home phone number from where I grew up, I won't say the first seven, or first three digits, say the last seven, but it was 
Wow, very similar. <laughs> Close. Four three six four four two five four, and eight three six instead of eight three seven. Five two five four two three, five four three six two. Eight, seven eight two five, five nine. Um. Rosh Hashanah, it's Rosh Hashanah. That's like a Jewish. Today? Uh, well, today for the viewers. So next week. Really? For, but yeah. Next I week. So. I thought Rosh Hashanah was in like the winter. Mm, no, it's apparently today or soon. It's actually a few days ago. We missed it. I guess it, maybe it's not like the same kind of thing where it does like the um. It's not the same every year. Yeah, but uh, I remember like a couple of years, years ago I was in Turkey during Rosh Hashanah. Uh huh. What happened? Um, uh, I don't know, just uh, a lot of people didn't have work, and people were very religious. What do you, you know what Rosh Hashanah is about? Because I forget, and I have to ask every year. That's what Rosh Hashanah is about for you. Fasting. <laughs> Fasting? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's, yeah. That's what they, that's what the holidays really should be, but they're not, it's not fun, I guess. You know, it's like. Holidays are fun. So I don't know, like, the, the, I mean, the holidays, like, lots of the holidays uh, in, in other traditions are about fasting and like you know working and like in being introspective but like we kind of flip a lot of them and now they're just about eating you know well it, interestingly <laughs> enough fasting is about eating and um the other thing it's is a like lack of eating it, yeah but the other thing is there have been a lot of uh nutrition studies like really credible nutrition studies that have found that uh fasting for like 24 hours is like incredibly healthy to do like it's like a super like it's crazy good for your body uh, yeah. and uh and so, so maybe maybe these sorts of traditions i was talking about this earlier today traditions being like a religious traditions being a way to like convince massive amounts of people to do the thing that you're actually supposed to do because oh, like, yeah. logic doesn't i suffice. think i think that kosher was originally well, a health, logic. it was originally a health God. standard yeah also, and then so it was passed through because, like, you not all of it, but some of it. I bet a lot of it was yeah. a, was a originally a yeah. health standard. So definitely some of it. Meeting. Some of it's just like God said, don't eat that. Oh well, yeah, but I think maybe the pe the people who chose what God said a long time ago were doing it from health standards. So why did they call it fasting when it takes so long? Uh, boo. <laughs> you have to think of it being fast. You have to imagine it's going by quickly. Yeah, but it's never going to go quickly. It's probably the Carl's Carl getting confused. Carl's, are you confused about synonyms again? No, because there's some words Oop. in the, in language. Feasting where, and fasting. Where, where it's, you see, you're getting confused because you know fasting actually doesn't well, have anything to do with never the goes fast either. There's there's words that have two meanings. So but like they're, feasting, but they're not the same. If I'm at, at, at a table of Thanksgiving this and I'm thing? not having a window, is it broken? No. Is it right? Well, yeah. uh, th th it was there from before. It was there okay. before. Um, if I'm, I'm if I'm at a uh, uh, Thanksgiving table dinner, um, you're feasting. Yeah, but it, uh, I'm told to have my phone off or whatever, so it takes really long. It always takes really long, whether it's feasting oh, or Oh, you're fasting. confused about synonyms. <laughs> <laughs> the word Wait. Eat, eating, Wait. Eating, having eating your fasting. phone on would make you eat slower. No. Do you eat quicker when you're uh, looking at shit on your phone? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play the next dice game. Let's play the next dice game. No more synonym confusion. You gotta go down that rabbit hole, Kenny. No. Here we go. We're going to play the last dice game. This is for everything. Oh, this is the commercial. we got to change the tape hey, out. After the dice game, Hannah, do you want to tell us about which countries you went to this summer? I don't know. Does, does um, Kramer know any tricks? Be cool. What about Shake? He's yeah, doing he knows that. He just says whatever he feels like, basically. That's a good trick. Chill, Kramer. Chill, be good cool. Good boy. Be cool. Good boy, chill. Good boy. That was what you used to do with Charlie. Yeah, we know it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chill, I mean, it's just, I think this is the best trick of all, is just to be able to chill like that, because Charlie would not chill. Charlie started getting mad at you, right? Oh, he would, oh, 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 oh. he's smiling. We should get Kramer, Kramer. to come the door really crazy. Kramer's smiling. Here we go, we're going to play the final dice game. Okay, he says two. Two! Oh, I got a thousand Shit. points. Let's see. You have to get doubles yeah. to win. Anybody else has to get doubles? Or not Kramer, though. Five. Oh, threes. Did you guys have threes? No. Yeah. Oh, I won, then. I'm the winner. 
Sorry. Whoa. You win a lot, Kenny. Well, I play a lot. He's on the program a lot. Yeah. You, you show up, you can probably win. If you don't show up... When I, when I, I, I say this, I, I like to say... <laughs> I don't know. It's like if you went to play Jeopardy. It's okay. We, you, we should go through and see who wins more, you or Carl. Because you've been on for like every episode for like a year. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, probably. that's something that an intern will do. Yeah. Well, that's what you used to say are, that I would do. Available call on the, the number online. and you put in the application and you can find out who you wins know, more. Up until episode... Carl like, or... Kenny. One time I made a list. I went through all the episodes up until like episode 700 that had a musical performance. Uh -huh. And I found the time codes in which they did the musical performance. And yeah. I was going to give it to you to like make playlists to that. But mm -hmm. I lost it. But you time lost codes. It. Yeah, it was like four years ago. You put another time codes? And it's gone. Yeah. Hello? Time oh, codes. Like YouTube time codes. Oh. Oh. We'll call Mr. Ginsu. I might be able to, I think might might still have it. Oh, Mr. Gensu, where are you? Okay. Mr. Gensu. Hi. It's the program. You can call us back. You have some time now. I don't know, probably only a few minutes left, actually. Yeah, it's true. You leave it? No, we're going back. All right. Uh, bye, Mr. Gensu. There it goes. Kramer. 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 We have his call on McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. Here I go, calling this McDonald's. We're going to see how McDonald's is doing out there in Alaska. You know, maybe we should call Hawaii because we called... Alaska yesterday, right? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. get some variety going. <laughs> variety. Hawaii. Variety. Hawaii today. Here it goes. Uh, hospital. 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 Somebody's sneezing out there. Uh, th that would be Desmond. What about dogs? Desmond was hanging out with cats, makes him. He's hanging out with cats earlier. Allergic. Cool cats? Uh, pretty. I have a pretty crazy cat. Not so cool. Here, we're gonna call this McDonald's. <coughs> you ever been kicked out of a place, Desmond? Yeah. Yeah, why? Um, wait. Kicked out of a place. Wait. I said wait. Wait. There, there's no waiting. In the yeah, no, what am I gonna do? Wait. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't, uh, I don't think I've. I don't think I've. Pause. That's good. That's good. That's probably a positive thing. Rewind. Getting kicked out of places is not. Fast forward. Good thing. Oh yeah. Yesterday we asked Hannah, Hannah about getting kicked out of places. Slow she told a story that was not really related. Getting kicked out she of a place. She kicked someone out of a place. I guess a bus is a place. Hopefully they're not by kicking it's someone moving. on their rump, because that would hurt. Yeah. Well, some places move. Hello, how McDonald's? Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have the Arctic Orange milkshakes back yet? Who's this? Rick. Ray. Yeah. What about the milkshake? Arctic Orange. I'm waiting for the flavor, Arctic Orange flavor. No, we don't. We only have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Those are just the regular flavors. What is the special flavors yeah. coming back? I'm not too sure, sir. Oh, uh, maybe maybe you have like a calendar. You have a calendar where it's written down. Wait, let me see. Okay. You always have it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. They just never want to tell you about it. What's the secret? Some people think it's a really big secret. That's kind of reasonable. Why? Why, why is it a secret? It should be public. Because it's more of a surprise when it shows up. Why would you want to surprise people? You want people to know about it so you can go, go buy it. Yeah, but maybe surprises are more enticing. I, I think it's not, and I don't think you can be enticed by surprise because you have to know about it to be enticed. Right, you find out about it because of the surprise. All right, that's possible, I guess. Um, Who's he getting in that car down there? Someone stealing that car? Someone stealing my car? She's checking the calendar. Or no. You can hear inside the McDonald's in Hawaii. You ever been to Hawaii before? Yes. What did you do there? I visited a friend that goes to school there. 
Well, Hawaii school. Hawaii school. Does everybody like to do beach stuff at school? UH. Kramer! Sorry, I couldn't find it. Oh, that's no problem. Thank you for looking. Yeah. You've been very helpful. It's it's totally you totally did did everything you could. I I feel like it's I've been uh, customer serviced well. It doesn't show in here, sir, but I can find the, the new calendar. This is the old one that I have right now. Oh, you, you have the new one somewhere else? Um, I will find it, but uh, according to uh, when I went to attend them, the they didn't mention any unless I missed that. Oh, uh, what, what did it mention? The What's coming up soon? Yes, what? The orange uh, flavor? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we never had that. <laughs> oh, it usually comes out in the we summer. We only have like for the shake, the shake, uh, the main for um, like December. Yeah. Or the eggnog shake. No, orange yeah. usually comes out in the summertime. That's Maybe it's just once. Don't have, sir. But I can find the. Oh, that's okay, that's I, a, I, I think you've done you've done enough. You've been helpful. You don't 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 put yourself through that again. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Right. Very much. Thank right. you. Bye. Bye bye. That was, that was McDonald's. Are you allowed to like interview people on television without them knowing? Yeah. <gasps> we just did it. What does allowed mean? I mean, like rather like. We're doing, we're, we're doing it, we've been doing it. Everything's illegal. I mean, legal. We're doing it. We've been doing it. We're allowed to do it. It's, a free it's happening. It's called anarchism. Mm, no. Thank you, Carl. It's called just a lie. It's we're called doing America. Things. We're doing things. Yeah, it's freedom. called America. It's freedom. <laughs> they're, they're on the thing. America. That's the name of the episode is Cray America. It's like, what can we do? What are we going to do? Who, who's going to arrest us anyway? Hannah, have you ever ridden on a roller coaster? Yeah. Which ones? It's the end of the show. You're from Florida. <laughs> You're from Florida. Yeah, they're oh, what? Oh. It's hot there, huh? It's the end of the show. We, we, we made it through another episode of the program without losing consciousness or dying. No one died on air. We came kind of close. I thought maybe that dust was going to get me or something. Or uh, dust really did get you. Thanks. Nobody you we made it the like whole way. Thanks, Mr. Gensu. Desmond. Thanks. That's a sign of death. Thanks, Dan Dillard. Thanks, thanks, Elias. Thanks, uh, Desmond and Hannah. Thanks, and that Call. band from Portland. And, yeah, and thanks, Kramer. Many thanks to Kramer. Look at all. Especially. Look at, here, get no more shots of Kramer. Look at his face. He's smiling. Kramer we'll is smiling. Kramer oh, show. man. How did dogs smile? Jerry? That's crazy. Where's Cosmo? How did dogs smile? That's crazy. Look at his smile. Oh, he's so happy. Look at him. He knows that that everyone's so going to see Where's George? 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 Episode number and date and day of the week. Thank you. TC TV Channel 22. Yeah. Here we are. Let me do it at 2 a.m. Check it out. 2 a.m. FridayHWM.com. Yeah. You don't even, they don't ask you to pay them. 360836434. Free. Totally free. Only free. You guys want to be on the crew? I'm doing anything if you want, though. Is Hannah on the crew? Let's see. Daryl? Uh, Lee? I don't know. She might have been a mistake. I think Vince? Kramer, but I don't know. Zoger? You have full FBI. Thank you. TCTV, Crystal Ball, La Bebe, Jordan, East, Lara, Crystal County, Washington State, it's a couch song, USA, thank you. Who wrote the couch song? Only, UFO, FBI. Hell yeah, dog! Woof, woof. It's Charlie, it's his birthday. Birthday, Charlie. Bye. Bye. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Your daily hour with me. Yeah. Yeah. Mandy and yeah, Elias. Yeah. yeah. Or Mandy. I'm going to watch TV, so I need an address. It was a pretty good uh, uh, We're pretty on good the corner of, of uh, here. What Above the, the volcano. Um, stage in Capital. State Capital. Yeah. Mandy's here. We talked to Mr. Yeah. Ginsu. Uh, Elias had a show. Mr. Ginsu and Mandy share a win. But what numbers are they? call that band. I forgot to do it. Three six zero eight three six four three eight four. Call it. Eleven thirty p.m. and two a.m. on TCTV.